Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has earmarked about 4.2 billion naira for continuous voter registration in preparation for the conduct of the 2023 general elections. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu stated this when he led other members of the Commission's 2022 budget proposal before a joint session of the Senate Committee on INEC and House Committee on Electoral Matters at the National Assembly Complex Abuja. Yakubu said that the Commission had earmarked 4.2 billion naira for the continuous voter registration across the country. Device for the purpose of voter registration particularly because we are devolving to more centers before the 2023 general elections. But the biggest cost of all is the accreditation device, uh, which is 55.3 billion, which is basically a little under 50% of the total requirement. We we'll have, uh, we'll have to buy 200,000 devices. We have 176,842 polling units. Each polling unit will have a device. And then we have to have 10% extra in case of malfunction or glitches. So if we have about 180,000 polling units, 10% of it will come to uh, 16,000. INEC chairman, while breaking down the Commission's 2022 budget proposal of 140 billion naira before the Joint Committee of INEC, Professor Mahmoud noted that out of 100 billion naira earmarked for the 2023 general elections preparations, 7 billion naira will be used for AKT and Oshun governorship elections next year, while the Commission's regular budget is 40 billion naira. This National Assembly has even gone a step beyond that to say that all money for elections should be released to the Commission at least one year to the election. So it's a realization of this issue that we have been discussing over and over for a long time. I look forward to the time perhaps when outside budget defense, when we can find time as we have done on other issues with the joint committee to thoroughly discuss this matter in the interest of our democracy. The independence of INEC is actually meaningless without financial independence. That's the reality. So we have an envelope. Uh, we can't go outside the envelope. For instance, we have two major governorship elections next year, AGT and Oshun. AGT in June, Oshun in July. The 40 billion can accommodate our activities, including the unforeseen by elections, including the six outstanding right now, as well as the AGT and Oshun governorship elections. Since the allocation is for our activities generally, and our activities is basically electoral, we decided to transfer. Uh, the uh, requirements for Ekita and Osho to uh, the 100 billion. So we have 40 billion as our regular intervention budget. We have 100 billion as the first tranche for our preparations for the 2023 general election. The INEC chairman equally explained the level of preparedness of INEC for the 2023 election. The previous voter registration needed to be uh, creation of full biometric register of voters. The system we used earlier. It's a laptop. It has uh, a webcam. Webcam, which is like a, ca it's a camera. We have the fingerprint scanner when you register. Then we have the printer. This is the complete direct data capture machines for election. Yeah, we didn't come with the battery so huge uh, to power the system. And it also it was also costing a lot actually to be moving this around. Because with an equipment like this and the battery, you need uh, to be able to move around to do the registration. Now, this used to cost 1.6 million. It's a data technology. If you go to the field, because of the new innovations and technology, you hardly find the parts. So you have to make a special order for the parts, which makes it costlier. But as technology is developing, the uh, equipment are also becoming more nimble and more manageable. So for this, the whole of this one, the whole of this one has translated to only these four pieces, only this without the box. So this is the INEC voter uh, enrollment device, the IVED. Here it has 
has the fingerprint scanner. So you don't need this fingerprint scanner. On the screen, you can type the details. You don't need the laptop. 